Xin chào cả nhà, Chef Q here. Let's go catch us some blue crabs and see my favorite way to cook these guys for a quick bite. Right, so we are at the Bay Area Park. This, this is uh, like southeast of Houston, a little bit north of Galveston. It's a really nice, clean park. We heard on a Monday, so not a lot of people. That's what I would recommend. I heard it's like packed here on the weekend. So try to come here um, during, like, on a weekday. It's about 80 degrees today. Well, it feels like a, more like 75 right now, but of course there are alligator signs all over. So uh, do be careful. Keep an eye out for these guys, but it doesn't seem like to be a problem. So I picked this place because there are like bushes and stuff like this. That's where most of the crab would come out, you know. Um, I think there, there are some areas that you can actually walk out to the water too. But uh, my wife here is scared of the alligator coming up to us. So we're going to try this pier first and then we'll check out other places if we don't have any crab. So I see people coming here for uh, jogging. There's like a baseball, uh, like a playground. It's a really good area for like a family picnic or gatherings. But today we are here for crab. Blue crabs, that is. Yeah, let's go. Really nice day today. It looks like we've got some people fishing out there. Not too humid today. Oh yeah, ooh, that's even a crane, cranes. So really, we actually just moved to Texas like a couple weeks ago. We still haven't unpacked yet. We are exploring Texas. Of course, we gotta go crabbing our first activities here. Check out all the parks, recreation center. Look at this dude, he's just chilling. <laughs> Whenever I go fishing, I never actually catch anything, so let's hopefully we'll catch something today. Got a nice little pier here. Not, not too many people here. Um, so I try to search for like places like this with all the swamp bushes. I think that's where all the crab comes. So we're doing some uh, string string crabbing no crab hot little caterpillar so for those of you that are looking or going crabbing for the first time what do you need of course you're gonna need some uh, fishing license uh, we got ours for $47 each um, for salt water and fresh water for one year um, Actually, it's my first time getting a fish license. We got ours at Bass Pro, Pro um, and 100% of that goes to uh, the county to reserve the uh, you know fishing and wildlife. So aside from the $47 fishing license, you need one of this fishing net stick thing. I don't know what that's called, but this is about 22 bucks. There are expensive ones too, but bigger. We don't want to pay too much um, to go crabbing. You might as well go buy it, right? Now, of course, we've got a cooler with some ice. Some chicken. You get chicken drumsticks, chicken wings. We got chicken thighs. We got a, a Costco since uh, we figured we want some chicken for ourselves to eat too, not just for the crab. We got a few of this crab throw line so this has a sinker and some strings to it we got this thing to hook on our chicken in there so according to the rules you can have as many of this line as you want there is no limit 
to how many lines you do so of course with this i have no experience with this this is all based off all the other youtube videos so let's see how many crabs i can catch all right all right we got our thing unwrapped here we got a sinker here just tied to the line and this hook right here is gonna go gonna get some chicken hook it on here chicken you didn't get any cheap chicken I just happened to buy the chicken thigh because it comes in a whole big pack because we want to eat chicken thighs. So <laughs> it just comes in a big pack. Bam! And then we just hook it on here. Sometimes you don't even need this. You just might need just a string and just tie, if you get the chicken drumstick, just tie the string onto the chicken's drum drumsticks at the end, you know? But this one, we got fancy. I hope the alligators won't come for this. <laughs> just the crab, we just want the crab only. No alligators, please. I'm gonna put up around three or four lines. Let's do two first since it's my first time. And we'll see. Yeah, that was a good throw. So I guess we're just gonna wait till they tug on the string and then kind of lure them in and then scoop them up, right? I'm gonna tie this right around here. Is the crab gonna pull this thing away if you tie it like this though? No, they're not that strong, what the heck? Pretty strong in my opinion. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay. 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 Oh yeah, we got a crab. That crab here, but too small. Uh -huh. <laughs> Our first crab, baby. <laughs> yeah, it worked here. <laughs> There are crabs there. Oh, yeah. Look at Look at it. Wow. Look at this. Did you take a picture? Want a picture? <sighs> this is a female. You can tell by the uh, Here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna the pink uh, thing, but there's only one. One claw on here. Look at this baby. Come on, let go. Let go. Let go. I'm going to throw you back. I'm going to throw you back. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh shit! Oh, dude, this 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 claw, this claw is pretty pretty long. She only have one claw, and she's pretty that thing strong. went in the. <laughs> it almost pinched me. Look at this. No, you, you Feisty. Take her from the claw. Yeah, I know. Here, grab it. Yeah, yeah. Damn, feisty little guy. Gal. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no. Dude, Dude, you should have brought the tongue. Let's go. Let's go. Quite simple. Good girl. Yeah, wrap that. Wrap that. She won't. She won't catch you by that. Aha. Uh -huh. Who's stronger? My claw or your claw? <laughs> but this is small, so we gotta throw this back. This, this is a female. A it's kind of red out of here, but yeah. the bottom it's, doesn't it's look good. It's still good. a teenager. Female teenager. teenager. Just a baby. Wait, 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 let me take a picture. That's too small to take a picture. You? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, let's throw it back. Go. Um, throw it somewhere where I won't come back and bite the same bait. Go, go the other way. Um, go that way. Free Willy! Oh wow. <laughs> I hope she survived that. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. From the bottom. Look at that. Oh yeah. Another small one, dude. Is this the same one? 
<laughs> At least this one has two claws. Yeah, I got yeah, one, one claw. But they are small. Oh, look at that. Hey, 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 hey. Got chicken there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, not this side, though. Oh, oh shit. Hold on, hold on. All right, another small guy. Where are the big ones? Hold the line and you can actually feel the bite on the line and just slowly drag it up and then someone to uh, scoop it up for you. Yeah, let's get this bastard. Okay, okay. Oh, it ran away. Dude, the net hit it and then it ran away. The net hit it? Yeah, that part of the net hit it and it ran away. Damn. That's like 12, around 12.30 right now. Uh, which they say that you should probably go either early morning or late evenings to catch these. Uh, I guess we woke up too, uh, too late. And it took us about an hour and 15 minutes to get here from our place, from Katie. Um, so, uh, I guess this is the, the biggest one we got so far. Stay still, stay still brother. So it's supposed to go this end to this end. This one looks... Yeah... Right it's a little bit more than five. <laughs> but that's just the side. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So we've been out here for what? An hour already? And the, I think we got the right spot. But there's just a lot of small ones. We keep on throwing them back. Little baby ones. Look at the size. Cut about like probably 10 or more already, but there are teeny tiny ones. I don't know what happened to all the big ones, but uh, we have to toss them back on the other side just so they won't come back to uh, our bait and then we'll catch the same one again, release again. Ah. Well, guess we are migrating. There's plenty of crab here, but they're too small. I'm not sure if it's because it's the wrong time of day or what, but uh, since we're already down here, we drove an hour and a half to come down here. We might as well stay down here and make the best of it. <laughs> Let's try another spot, about 30 minutes away. We'll see what happens there. Ooh. But this is a really nice place though. Uh, not too crowded. There's like barely anybody here it's ever since we were here. There's like four people that walked past. That's it. We got the pole place to ourselves. Just relax. So we are just trying to uh, find like a secret spot for crabbing, you know, where uh, it's just on the side of the road, right next to some swamp area. Um, and there's not too many people because if there are too many people, there won't be any big crabs left, right? All right, let's try this spot here. Right on the side of the road, right on, right on the 45. So that way is Galveston, straight down. Right here, it looks very swampy. Hopefully, because from all the videos that I've seen that people actually catch a lot of big ones, they're actually at these little swampy areas, and stuff like this. So uh, let's try it. We actually uh, bought some more chicken since uh, the last spot actually ate all of our chicken but we only got like one crab, one, one tiny one right there. Look at that, look at that lonely crab. We need some friends in there. <laughs> we are right on the side of the road. I hope this is legal, I don't know, but there is like a, a ramp right here so I'm guessing it should do. I guess the oil refinery is all the way over there. Not sure how clean this water is. Oh shit! Big ass crab right there! Okay, there's a lot of crab here, guys. <laughs> it's tugging on the rope. Babe! It's tugging on the rope. Da 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 down, down. Da 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 da. Oh my god! 
that was so bad. That was so bad. Wait. <laughs> what the heck did you ooh, catch? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know, there's a lot. You lap, you lap. Look, go all the way up here. Look, 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 it's still there, it's still there. Up, zoom up, zoom up. Ay, ay. You do it, I keep the bait. <laughs> My God. This <laughs> is so bad. What the hell is that? <laughs> uh, look at that guy munching on. On it. But too small. a keeper look at this baby right. yeah okay Woo. six and a half baby okay. go run run little one yeah bye good luck ah yeah baby how big this claws are. Giant ass claws. Let go. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <sighs> oh, look at that. Oh my God. Oh, it's a big one. This is a big one. Shoot. See that line? Pull it slowly. Steadily, no rush. Got plenty of chicken on there left. Second, second. Hold up. Oh my god. You see the big one? We do it. We do it. We do it before it pull away. It's pull away. Take it. Yes. Yeah. Let's go, baby. See? Yes. Woo! Good job. Hell yeah. I was waiting for this big one. This one's even bigger than the other one we caught. It's a male one, not a male one. It's a male? Yeah. Not a male. Alright. Yeah. Oh shit. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. That thing almost caught me. It's big. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. See these crab? These crab, the claws are so long. So when I, I grab in the back here, they can still reach me. But with Dungeness crab, I know that when I, I grab it back here, they can't reach. But these claws are, are long. So you have to grab them by the claws. But this one is really strong. It almost pinched me. about seven inch look at this claws man they're so big okay. so strong too yeah got two big ones yeah all right the pattern yep yep got it Woo. every time now good job <laughs> let's go baby all right i'm getting the hang of this <laughs> getting the hang of this look at that Big ones. Oh, another male. Oh, well. Yep. If, if we're in Vietnam right now, all these will go in the pot. But these are not <laughs> of size here. A couple females. Oh, time to go. I think we're good for today. Don't you think? Don't go, right? Be ready. 
Yeah, or, oh shit. <laughs> Fucking crab. Ah, it attacked me. Well, we only got four today. That's pretty big. I guess now we know like kind of the area and what we need to, where we need to go to catch big ones. Um, so next time, we'll for sure catch some more. But right now, today is the first time ever catching crab. And four big ones is actually pretty good for the day. Enough for us to eat. Now let's throw this chicken back and uh, let the little ones enjoy. Look at that. We're just munching on that. Today is not really about how to cook these crab, it's how I catch them. So how I like to eat crab is just steamed crab. Steamed crab is the best way to actually taste how the crab is. In Vietnamese, these are actually ghe, not crab. Crab is, is guo. However, these are some big ghe. <laughs> we paid 47 bucks for our fishing license. Of course, all the gears and stuff and like the, the bait uh, equal to like a hundred something for four crab, but hey, it's not about the crab, it's about the experience, right? About going out there, catching your own food, and actually looking for your favorite spot, right? Ooh. So damn good. <laughs> Eating crab with chopstick, guys. Yeah. This is our uh, salt, pepper, chili, lime sauce. This is... Mm. Flaky, sweet, so firm. This is our hard work. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. If you're into foodie adventure like this and have a love for food like me, make sure to subscribe to see what's cooking up next.